do need to get there. Okay, once more. Let's just grab the next one they give for Cronley's gang. We'll run tr uh, for the... Like for Romanov or whoever. Trust me, now they'll give the Chontix one. I wanted to go beat up the blade again. Maybe they won't give that since I already killed them once. Those places don't seem I to respawn. Figure something out with Homestead soon, or I'm gonna have to make some difficult decisions. Bauer was once a joyful older man who managed Baker and uh, Burwich. Sadly, he fell when the Aetherials attacked. I dread to think of what the Aetherials had done to his remains when they dragged him into a cellar. But it would ease my heart to know he's at peace. We don't have much to offer, but I've set aside some materials for anyone that puts Bauer to rest. Sure. Not what I had in mind, but I'll do it. Dragged him into a cellar. Um. I have no idea where they want me to go. It's a little vague. This is a cellar. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. B A L L I O R or Bounty. be an any cellar. But they didn't mention flooded cellar. They mentioned three different types of cellars and uh, yeah. Actually wait, did they say anyone in the estates? No, a Burwich and the Burwich estates. There's the helmet after triggering. That I really need it. Ooh, that procked off one of my projectiles. Seems like some areas within an act will scale better than others. They all have like, different caps, which is also determined by difficulty.
once you take pick these up, you have no choice but to finish them. Or you can't get another one for that faction. Another bounty. Okay. Though when those things say they have like a, a, a chance to proc, they mean like off the ISO twitches in your hands. They mean like, you know, if you do a projectile, it can proc off that hitting someone. It's not just your like direct attacks. It's any attack like you hit someone and you get a proc. You know, like your you know uh, you know those little bat knives fly out. Those bat knives can trigger the helmet. Like it's ridiculous. I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's just it's certainly a lot more potent than I'd anticipated. Ah, I'm too high level to get crystals off that. Still, crystals are a lot easier to get in here than in, say, you know, uh, the other things in uh, Part of Exile. Uh, orbs of regret. Oh, I never actually explored over here. Just a little bit. No point in grabbing on stuff from here. None of it's... All of it's really underleveled. Like, all of it's underleveled. None of it will be worth shit. Hmm, unlike the other place, these gravestones aren't named in the slightest. Potticary and search. skeletons with crossbows. Daryl 1, Daryl 2, and Daryl 3. Actually, something I could do while I'm here is um, go and nuke over here because I there's a shrine over there. Um, I can go get that. Um, and those enemies will be on par with me and whatnot. So, just put on some hand gel. One sec. I'm recording, right? Yeah, 30 min nearly 30 minutes in. You can hear me just fine. You can hear the game just fine. All is good. Yes. For a moment, I've been thinking these enemies were on par with me, but no, no, it's the other enemies elsewhere.
<sighs> Still haven't found a damn guy. Here, I guess. I did kind of forget what I was saying about them not being worthwhile. Oh, uh, whatever. There. There he is. Now this guy will give me um, XP and rap. Actually, give me rap on two fronts. The bit with the order and the bit with here. Very hide, one percent health, eight six to armor, and six percent reduced stun duration. Lost fifty material rep and gained one hundred and twenty-five devil's crossing rep. Or in a sense, I gained fifty negative rep with the materials. Like, you know, in just the sense that like, they're a faction you want to hate you. You want to have hating you. Actually, I went out there. The cannons are secured. Oh, I'll be damned. You've got more guts than brains, but you won't find me complaining when those cannons are back in our hands. I have some men sent out there to hold them back immediately. You've done the Legion a huge service. Thank you. Uh, 13,000 XP, 2,000 iron, and 250 Black Legion reputation. You're welcome. Those cannons will give Anne that comes within 300 yards a taste of Black Legion lead. Perfect. There, I gained a bit of rep with him. Still a bit off, and I've no Ethereal Vanguard around here to kill. I can kill the Outcast and gain rep with him that way, but I don't want to do so. There are another fact. Ooh, I actually forgot to go to the other place. You know what, fuck it. We'll keep going here for now. But yeah, I don't want to kill the outcast. They're another person you can gain rep with. You know, I feel no need to go kill her just because Black Legion wants to do it.
I actually despise with the blood sworn yet. Yet. Lucius Blood Boil. There we go. 576 XP. And no one actually cares about, about this faction, so no, I got no rep with anyone for doing so. I've had to have sided with the, or, the faction that didn't want me to have gotten rep with. That annoys me to no end. Avalon's note, page three. Um, won't start reading that till I get page one and two. But so you, so you can tell from that little opening line you saw there, it's oh, it's gonna be a jolly read. Nice the amount of enemies here. Imagine if I was again the extra spawns. I assume that's just making like all the mob packs bigger. Here now, let me just tap this. In here is the necromantic order. Across this way is the other order. See Bloodsworn Adepts and Death Vigil Acolytes fighting down there. Here is like one of the few places you'll actually find NPCs duking it out. Like uh, on the regular. So, yeah, it's cool. May the specter of death guard your path. I had no idea the Black Legion worked with our kind. Come, come, there's much to be done. You wanted to speak with me? If you fought alongside the uh, Order of Death Vigil, then first you must prove yourself. If you were to fight alongside us, then first you must prove yourself to us. Show us that you do not fear death. We'll show you its secrets. 8,000 XP. What must I do? One of our most prominent members, Malkdar, second only to the Keeper, was recently slain by a Chantic am Chanonian ambush. His remains are now in the possession of the cultists, somewhere out in the Blood Grove. Can I not lose a mind like Malkadar? The Keeper has called for the Rite of Resurrection to be performed and revered from Necromancer. If it, it falls to you, my aspiring initiate, to enter into the Blood Grove and recover Malkadar's remains. What is the Rite of Resurrection? It is a sacred ritual performed in dire times to bring back a fallen member of the Order. It's not resurrection in the literal sense. Malkadar will not be returned to his mortal form. Instead, he will continue uh, to serve the Order as a revenant. Can I count on you to retrieve what's left of him? I will recover the remains. Another student of the Dead Arts has come to join us. Well, uh, welcome to the Order. May you find the answers you seek. If I was uh, hostile, I could... Uh, like, if I was uh, with the other f faction, I could come in here and start like, killing my way through them. I get an achievement if I kill... Oh, kill Warden Krieg on Veteran without your character hitting 11? Christ! So not expecting you, human. <laughs> it's you know he was you know, I hit the first line when you meet the warden was I was just expecting you, human. So you know to play on that. Um, damn, that would be rough. You would you would have to drag race it. You would have to avoid a lot of enemies. You would have to skip out on a lot of bits, but just get just enough to actually still survive and get it done.
Centennial Legend. Yeah, reach level 100. Monomythic Centennial. It's five of the flames of Alberry, Sadie Overlord, Van Aldrike, and Van de Berry. <sighs> Fields of Despair. Out of destruction in the immolation. Apparently there's 60 shrines, but only 55 points. That's puzzling. But there is an achievement. Maybe it's on Steam and not in the game. But there is an achievement. Let me just get it here. Um, this is just bugging me now. Here it is. Slay Malkadar in the name of Kaiman's Chosen on Ultimate Difficulty. Slay Archon Baltalmu in the name of Order uh, in, uh, in the name of the Order of Death's Vigil on Ultimate Difficulty. Okay, that's a bit different to what I was remembering. Hmm. Yeah, that was a bit different. Still, I'm sure you get something for wading into here and beating the shit out of everyone. Uh, as so someone on the other side. I'm sure you get rap or something. At the very least. Uh, yeah, I'm still recording. Take, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. You got vision. You hear me. You'd have the game audio if you could, if it was playing. Yeah, all's good. Aruka's Journal. Today marks a critical moment in my life as one of Uruborg's pupils. Having passed the trials, the only thing that stands between me and the coveted title of Necromancer forming reanimation. But the pleasure of seeing her master at work countless times. He is truly master of craft, requiring neither reagent nor ward to bring the dead back into the living. Uruborg claims that it is a matter of practice and form, but I am convinced otherwise. His grasp over death supersedes us all. Even his oldest students, who at a whim, can call upon the spirits to do their bidding. But they require binding runes and focusing stones, of which our master makes no use of. The dead Uruborg brings back... The dead Uruborg brings back don't just serve him, they seem eager to please their master, as if to earn his favour. But now it is my turn to join the elite ranks of the Order. So I did scrolls and learned the rites and burned the words into my memory through exhaustive repetition. I've gathered a grave moss and the dust from buried bones. I am ready. Tomorrow I will drag a soul back from beyond the de veil of death and force it into skeletal remains. Tomorrow I emerge from the sepulture as a fully fledged necromancer. A rogue spirit nearly turned the day's word of, uh, nearly ruined the day's word of study. I shall be, have to be more careful with the binding ritual in the future. You mean you capture spirits to serve you? But of course, spectral servants are invaluable to our research of on death and history. Sure, some spirits are accommodated, but not all, all is, are not all are, uh, are as understanding of the greater purpose we all serve. Uh, yeah, we're a necromancer. We're probably down with that. Uh, those who fear death live under its shadow. Master death, and you shall master life. So teaches our book. Uruboruk is the founder. He taught us all that we know of necromancy. Without him, the order would not exist. Can I speak to him? Sadly, our master left us in the middle of the night many years ago under mysterious circumstances. We can only presume that the events of that events of great importance have drawn him away from the order. Curious. Uh, I think you can meet him in the game, but you have to follow a quest line and stuff. Ooh, that's sinister. Boost spire horns damage by twenty percent, but uh, you know, 
relevant to me. It, you know, it's an off hand item. Oh, you're sinister sounding. Um. An heir's will. It's not a um, oath keeper one. Mm. Harbinger of souls. It gives me one to this. God damn. This is like an exclusive skill. You know, it's one the like you can only have one active at a time. They are really powerful, potent shit. Um, cool. Okay, it's um augment. Okay, this is nice shit. Reputation gain increased by 50% with the Order of Death Vigil. Ooh, you really want to slap that, self, that stuff on you. 50%. That's incredible. And isn't there something here of a similar note? It gives... Yeah, on other characters, you get... 150% um, rep gain. It just makes it shorter for when you're leveling up another character. Yeah, sadly there's stuff here that's gonna be too useful to me. Should you uh, should you encounter any climate chosen out of the wilderness, beware. There are a zealous group of attacks on sight. What happened? Bastard jumped to me in the woods, burning blades drawn. Of course, Pufu made the mistake of thinking he was alone. Cost me a, f cut a few decent minions, but he made an ample replacement for one. Galrock grins. Galrock grins. Poetic justice. The Order welcomes you. Another one joins our ranks. It's always a pleasure to welcome another seeker of the truths. Make yourself at home. There's questions. If I know the answer, you shall have it. Why can you tell me about the Order's history? Didn't actually get to read this first time around. Um, I passed the point where she doesn't answer these questions anymore. The Order was founded 313 years ago by our mortal master, Boruch, in order to preserve knowledge and pursue the study of necromancy. For the Order, necromancy was nearly lost to the world, and art persecuted near extinction. We've heard of the Curse of Akovia. That was our master's retribution for the systematic elimination of necromancers. Following the Akovian tragedy, Uruborg wandered the world in seclusion for many centuries. He resurfaced a little over three centuries ago, swearing to restore the art of necromancy and to ingrain the pursuit of knowledge and life's uh, mysteries into a new generation. The day the Order is comprised primarily of arcanists and occultists, disillusioned and persecuted by Erolan society, though we do welcome those who do not have the arcane gift. Urborg's teachings encourage tolerance and understanding, after all. Plus, it's, you know... You know, someone needs to wash, wash the dishes. Who was Urborg? Tales of Urborg have existed for centuries. None know for sure in what distant time or place he was born. If Urborg is even his original name. What we do know is that Urborg was central to the tales of Rokovi's downfall many centuries ago. So what? None, no one ever asked? Uh, to be fair, he might be the kind to kill you for asking. Or he, you know, everyone else is just too, you know, you know, too on ceremony or, oh, what's the phrase? They're you know, just too, you know, like, oh, we could not ask that of the master. And he's just there in, you know, in a Hawaiian shirt, you know, just out in the sun, you know, sunbathing. He's got a, you know, a flirtini with him. You know, he's just out chilling and, you know, you can ask a man. 
I had a different image in mind, then my mouth started going down a different path. Sometimes my mouth goes its own way, and... Yeah. The rest of me is just along for the ride. Sorry, I hope that wasn't too loud there. I think anymore maybe I should take my headset off when I need to take a drink. I really need to get a standing mic. It's just a worry it'll be a, a bit of a... And I'm not an eyesore. And in the way of my... Keyboard. Um... Under the decree of the Rokovian oligarchs, all suspected practitioners of necromantic art were to be taken to the steps of torment, a vile prison where doomed men were left to rot in the darkness of the depths of the earth. Ouroboric, who, had then been, who, who then had a powerful following in Rokovia, was betrayed and handed over to the Rokovian torturers. However, it was not like any man they had met, ever met. It seemed Ouroboric could not die. His skin would not burn and his wounds would not bleed. Unsurprisingly, this drew the attention of the oligarchs, who craved such power for themselves. Under the command, the Rebork was subjected to the most brutal and imaginative form of torture, torture ever conceived. I've action Disney movies. Uh, his immortality had worked against him. Uh, and ultimately, our master agreed to their demands and offered to perform the ritual, which would make the oligarchs immortal. Oligarchs had assumed he is well broken and greedily accepted. Indeed, Ouroboric uh, granted the people of Rokovia the immortality they so craved, but it came in the form of a devious curse. They still suffered ravages of time, but the merciful release of death would not come. They became trapped within their physical forms, even as their bodies disintegrated and turned to dust. The remnants of the once great Rokovian Empire still roamed the world as mindless ghou uh, ghouls and tortured spirits. Centuries later, Ouroboric would create the Order of Death's Vigil, so that their knowledge would never again be threatened by the ignorant. He taught several generations of our people before mysteriously leaving us in the middle of the night, a few years before the grim dawn struck. Your master left you. Yes, we do not know why or know what, why or where. Perhaps he had ascended, his time on Karn concluded. I believe that he's still out there, though, traveling the world in search of enlightenment. Has anyone gone after him? Yes, of course. Manny left to, in search, to search for a master, but none have returned with even a hint of his presence. It's become a tradition for young acolytes to set out into the world in search of a Borg for a year. They return wisened by their travels, travels, but no closer to uncovering the truth of a master's disappearance. All they're missing is a bit of TNT. Why does your role as keeper? I maintain our records in library, ensuring that none of our knowledge is lost. In the absence of our master, I also serve as the Order's leader, and the first of the inner circle. What are the Order's goals? To master debt and embrace all that it teaches us. To preserve knowledge, no matter how dangerous, and to maintain a balance in the world. That is what Ouroboric taught, taught us. Clement's chosen. They are zealot followers of a false prophet and a non-existent god. Any one who stands against them is a heretic and marked for extermination, under the guise of preparing Karn for their new dawn. The chosen are everything we despise in this world, intolerant, zealous, and afraid of the truth. We rouse the opportunity to wipe them out before they can cause more harm. I see. I w on my other character, I waded a bit into the Chosen's base, but I didn't... I couldn't go too far. I ran into quite a burly enemy. And to be honest, I think the Chosen would have gear more suited to me. And uh, ignoring my necromantic side, but, you know, the electricity and all that. The lightning. Very, very frightening. You know, I think they would have actually kit more suited to that. Leave that on, do that. Ooh, nice. Oh, there's Avalon's note one. Annoying that no one really gives a damn about me killing these. Everyone should, or most people should, but no. Now, at least, at least the Catonians care. 
nice to feel hated. Mark Payne. Hmm. This is Regen and a few other things. Yep, it's actually just right here. God damn. I was right, it was right across from them. You know, brawling here while there's the Ketonians to fight may seem like a bad idea. It kind of is. But, um, you know, there is actually the uh, Death Vigil, the Chosen, and the Ketonians down here fighting. So, may as well step in here and... Your standing with Cayman's Chosen does not permit you to enter here. Oh, you can't go in. Aww. I thought I could just go in and slaughter the place. It doesn't make sense to me. It's just like, they don't like me. I won't go in there. Meh. Uh, whatever. There's a different base you can meet up above. I thought they were the same thing. They aren't. Um, I suggest you turn back, Traveler. The Boil Grove is teeming with the cult of Catan and worse. I watched as the rift tore itself open before my eyes and sucked in several men. Before our eyes and sucked in several men. It vanished just as quickly. Through the air tingling with strange energy. Back away immediately. What about the other scouts? Lost, taken by the cult. The local ones died during the fighting. The rest. What's that? Uh, what else is out there? Black main manticores running wild. Oh, I guess I did see some. Now that there isn't anyone around to keep them away from the roads. Then there's the Order of Death Vigil and Cayman's Chosen. Two groups of fanatics that have been at each other's throats for weeks. We haven't, we weren't planning on heading north to Fort Icon. Uh, Darkvale has been completely overrun by the Budsworn. By the Budsworn. Oh yeah, Darkvale. We saw that reference in the the lady's books. I was beyond the rift. The rift seemed to be a high and stable. The only scouts that went through did not do so willingly. We never saw them again. Uh... Only one way to find out. Alright. Ooh, actually, missed a bit there. Death Vigil people. More Death Vigil. Okay, if we head this way. Kaiman's Chosen. To be honest, when I keep saying Kaiman, I hear Hyman. And we will hit up that other base full of the um, Chosen. It's much further up north. Probably need to go in there for a necromancer quest. Ooh, there's a group down here. 
remember these. Oh, I do remember these. I thought they were in the opposite direction. Stay, stay away from her, or she might possess you too. What's going on here? She's one of them taken, possessed by an material to blend in with us normal people. We caught her trying to bewitch a wolf to do her bidding. She needs to burn. That ought to take care of that vile spirit. The taken is gonna burn real good. Talk some sense into these maniacs. What's going on here? It's all a huge misunderstanding talking to Yand uh, Nathaniel. There's a reasonable way out of this. Hmm. We'll see what I can do. I'm gonna look this up because I did it once before and I feel like I got played. I'm still recording, right? Um Yes, yes I am. Sorry, I'm getting paranoid. Ralia Grimdorn. Burn the Taken. Ah. Um, she actually turns up later. A bit of a spoiler. She actually turns up later in Act 5. In the outer expansion. Um, Not Forgotten Gods, the... You know, the one with the Countess. You know, her. Yeah, that, that expansion. She turns up there as part of the Coven of Ugdenbog. And you get a... Like, if you save her, you get an, an, an extra quest from her, which gives some XP and Coven Rep, 250. So, there's two options for a reward. XP is the same for this quest. Um, which is Spellblade. It's a one-handed dagger. Um, or, an, which is Effigy. Which is an offhand weapon. And I'm going to... So yeah, I am going to spare her. Though to be 